Hello there. Uh, so today I thought I'd do something a bit different and I'd uh, record something while I'm walking. I'm walking through a new part of town today, so uh, hopefully it goes well. It's recently been raining, so I need to be careful where I walk. Anyway, um, hopefully it's not too jumpy and you can hear me. But today I want to talk about uh, something a bit different. I wanted to talk about um, language learning. And it's just been in my mind because, uh, well, because we're planning out our trip. This summer we're going to be, my wife and I are going to be going to Taiwan. And it looks like we might spend a week or so in Korea. Like kind of a stopover on the way to Taiwan. And, uh, and so I've been looking over, at, you know, if I should uh, try to brush up on my Korean or not. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I, uh, so my languages, the ones I translate in are Italian and English, and that's it. But I love languages, I love learning new languages. Growing up in Switzerland, we learned French and German. Later I learned Spanish. In college I took these classes in uh, Japanese at the USDA, I went to school in DC, and so these government agencies offered classes. And uh, then what else? I lived in Korea for a bit, that's, uh, and had a private tutor there. And then Chinese, obviously my wife is from Taiwan there, they speak, uh, they speak Taiwanese as well, but they also speak Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, and so that's what I was learning. And uh, anyway, I'm, I I'm very backlit. I guess that's better, except I'm trying to walk that way. Maybe I'll walk backwards for a bit. Um, so I, or maybe I'll just stop. I, uh, where was I? Oh, well, yeah, and that's the thing. So I'm juggling all these languages and looking for the camera, which is there. I'm juggling all these languages, and I, uh, I'm very bad at switching from language to language to language. I know some people can do it from French to Chinese to English to whatever. I can't do that at all. I, if I'm thinking in a language, I mean, Italian and English is fine, but any other language, I'm, you know, it's very hard for me to switch to them, you know, or from them or stuff like that. I'm getting a bit better with Chinese, I think, just because I hear it more often, but... The other languages, I'll be okay, but if you ask me to switch to like Korean right now, like there's no way. My mind will just be all frazzled and, uh, and I won't be able to come up with anything. And it's happened before. We're like, we'll walk into a Korean restaurant or Japanese or something and uh, yeah, I have no idea what to say. Even with French, like, and you know, I, I started using Chinese words when I was trying to speak French. Like it makes no sense. Anyway, um, so how do I go about this? Basically, I have a regiment when I know, so recently like my wife and I went to Germany I mean, recently, about a year ago. And, you know, before going to Germany, I basically had this regiment for like a month or a couple of weeks beforehand. I started listening to podcasts. I started, uh, you know, brushing up like a t German TV shows and stuff like that, just trying to get some uh, German back, um, you know, that I'd learned before and obviously it had gotten really, really rusty. And uh, so, yeah, I try to do that. Before I take a trip, I try to do something like that. And uh, so, yeah, if we're taking this trip, say, to Korea, um, we haven't finalized anything yet, but once we know it's finalized, I'll probably be doing something similar. I try to, you know, create a schedule and, and you know, stick to it. Um, and then I'll concentrate, so, you know, this trip to Korea will probably just be traveling around a bit, visiting some, uh, I mean, going to restaurants, visiting some stuff. I'm hoping if I can take her on a road trip to the east coast of Korea, if we have time, that would be nice. And anyway, it'll just be asking for directions, ordering stuff, talking about stuff. You can kind of see a bit of the skyline behind me. But anyway, of uh, Charlotte, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, uh, that's sort of my regimen. And I usually divide language learning into four different things. There's uh, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. And so for this trip, obviously, reading and writing will be minimal. Most of it will be speaking and listening. And so that's what I'm going to concentrate on. And yeah, uh, so I'll probably, maybe I'll do another video where I talk more in detail if we decide we're going to Korea and I set up this regimen and all that. And I can delve a bit more into it of how I, yeah, how I go about this. Because I find, you know, if I'm like, say, with German, you know, if I'm just constantly trying to teach myself a word a day or brush up on German, but I have no intention of going to Germany anytime soon, I know I'm going to forget that stuff before I go. And I find it a lot more useful to before I use the language, so before I travel there or something along those lines, to come up with a regimen of a month, a couple weeks, or whatever it might be, and try to get it back. And then, you know, slowly but surely, I can get what I learned back and hopefully even advance a bit. So by the time I get there, I can, you know, hit the ground running and, uh, and not, not just jumping into it cold turkey. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, hopefully this video wasn't too jumpy. Hopefully I wasn't too backlit. And hopefully you can hear me because I didn't even check about that, but anyway. Uh, and yeah, but definitely let me know if uh, what you do to keep up your languages and uh, how, you, how you do that. If you have to juggle 
well, you know, two languages or more, and you know how you, how you do that because I find it quite hard, and I can't switch just like that from language to language. And so, yeah, let me know. I'll try. Wait, let's see if I'm less backlit. Nope, nothing helps here. So anyway, um, I'll uh, yeah, and I'll talk to you in the next video. And but yeah, I'm definitely interested in hearing because I like to improve on my methods too. I just do you know this is how it came up for me. But anyway, I'm be happy to hear what you guys do, and I'll talk to you later because. I can't figure this out, and I'm way too backlit now. <laughs>